Fringe. They are joining us here today at Our Town Rantoul. I'm excited to be here with Travis and Jeff. Guys, thanks for joining us today. I know that we can almost see the Fringe from here, right on the Fringe at the Rantoul Family Sports Complex. Let's talk a little bit about who you guys are and what people can find when they come see you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, we're really excited about things that are happening here in Rantoul, and we're two of the owners um, of the Fringe, something that we have been planning for, I think, over 20 years. Back in high school, we thought about putting together a mini golf course. It never really came to fruition until recently. This Rantoul Family Sports Complex has helped us do that. It's given us the opportunity to provide family fun for people in Rantoul as well as tourists. Yeah, long time dream, now a reality, super cool. Jeff, when people come to the Fringe, let's talk about mini golf. We're working on our short game here. Um, how many holes are there? What's it look like? So there's 36 holes, uh, 18 of which are ADA accessible. Um, and it's, uh, it's challenging. One course is a par 43 and the other course is a par 45. So it's not your typical putt-putt um, to where you're just gonna go out and make ones and twos. You're going to have to grind over some putts, and you're going to make twos, threes, fours. But uh, it, it's uh, two waterfalls with caves, eight ponds, streams winding throughout the course. So it, it's it's kind of a nature scene, and cool. it, it's very fun and enjoyable. Still something that beginners um, can pick up a club for the first time and still have some fun. Maybe they won't, won't reach the par on the first time, but maybe it'll bring them back another. What advice would you have for someone taking on some mini golf who's feeling competitive and wanting to play? Oh, we have lots of different things going on at the Fringe. Uh, we actually started a mini golf league last year. We had spring, summer, and fall. We actually just finished up spring this year uh, for 2023. At 37 teams, we're starting our summer league the week of June 5th. Uh, people can still sign up. Um, they can get a hold of us. It's two-person teams. We have different formats. It goes anywhere from combined score to obstacle better ball. Awesome. So how does that work? Is it like for the full summer or is it like a, a brief season or how does that look? This summer is going to be a 13-week season. Each week you play one 18-hole round and we keep standings, we keep score for the matches and you just keep points throughout and people love seeing where they are in the standings and the final week is, is a big tournament where everybody gets together. So fun. Okay, Jeff, I know we saw with Jacob Dickey that you guys are so much more than just mini golf, although that's a huge asset. Let's talk about the menu items, the bar, what else people can find with you guys. Yeah, so we also have two uh, high-definition uh, simulators that are uh, not just golf, but you can do about 20 to 30 other sports on there. Um, and then we do have a full bar with uh, beer and liquor. We have uh, our slushy machines, which we call Spinderellas. We change out every, every week. Um, so we also have two non-alcoholic slushies for the kids um, that we change out uh, every week. So um, it, it, there's a lot of fun stuff to do. And then uh, our menu for food. We offer pizzas and then a 16 ounce and a 24 ounce pretzel awesome. and uh, chicken tenders, chicken wings, and a lot more shareable. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, I'm starving. Thank you guys for joining us for our town rent tool. Tons of fun to look forward to. People can head on over and enjoy the fun there at the fringe after this as well. We do thank you for sponsoring our segment and we'll connect you over on our website after today's show to learn more about them. We're going to have tons more of fun with our town rent tool after the break.